Hello and welcome, this is Jeremy at buildasoil.com and this video is about the do-it-yourself lactobacillus serum. I'll try and be as fast as possible. I was wanting to make some lactobacillus serum of my own so that I could make my own fermented plant extracts and so that I could use it to add some additional life to my soil and help unlock the nutrients. But when I looked online, I couldn't find uh, very many good resources with a lot of photos. And I was really happy to find an excellent resource and um, I'll give that to you later, but thanks to Gil Karendang for the recipe. And that's what this video or uh, this presentation is based off of. So right here, what you see is the final product. That's what your whey or what your lactobacillus serum should look like when it's done and it's ready for storage. Now you could add molasses to that and put it in a larger container and you could keep it without putting it in the refrigerator. I've chosen to um, just keep it simple and not add any molasses and I'm going to slow it down and just kind of put it in the fridge and it'll have a shelf life of a much longer than I need for the small amount that I make. So what can I do with it? Well, you can make your own superfood plant fertilizer, and that was the purpose for me. Um, this particular beneficial bacteria will enable you to ferment plants that are going to be beneficial to feed to your existing garden. And you can make a, a top dollar, really expensive fertilizer yourself, and it'll be a much higher quality because you don't have to use chemicals or heat or any of that stuff to make it stable. You can use enzymes and you can use bacteria and it's very, very easy. Anybody can do it. You can use this serum to unclog drains in your house, remove odors from uh, farming like with pigs and chickens, remove odors in the house. I've heard of people putting it on their carpet stains from a pet and using this bacteria to eat it, you know, actually dissolve the material instead of just wash it away. Uh, break down plant matter in your soil. Uh, but you can break down plant matter in your soil and have a healthy microbial life to the mix. Uh, if you want healthier plants, then you should absolutely make some of your own lacto B serum. And I encourage you to do it. That's why I made this. So the list of my items you're going to need. Uh, it's really basic and you need water, of course. Rice, any kind. Uh, white, brown, whatever. I had some brown rice at my house. That's what I used and it was just the cheap store brand. A couple of bowls or Tupperware, something to do some straining in. Uh, nothing has to be very special. Uh, milk, I used raw, but just avoid the really high pasteurized stuff. You want just some normal organic milk or regular whole milk would be great. Uh, a strainer or something to get the curds out and a week or two of time to let the milk sit. And for me in Colorado, it was really cold, so a heating mat helps if it's cold out. First, you do the rice wash. And so you're going to take uh, the rice and you're going to just soak it in water. No heat is needed or anything like that. Once it's soaked, uh, say 10, 20 minutes, you can strain it out and your water is going to look like this here on the right. See how it's all cloudy? That's what you want. Take that rice wash and you can loosely cover it with uh, a muslin cloth and a rubber band or with the lid kind of cockeyed on there. Either way, you want to actually be able to catch bacteria that's floating in the air. So you don't want it sealed and totally closed. And that bacteria that floats around in the air is hopefully going to be lactobacillus. And there's enough of it where we can predict what's going on here. And so this rice wash water is going to collect bacteria and it's going to separate into three layers. So on the left you can see this is the first day or maybe the second day and it started to um, collect a little carbohydrates on the bottom and that's going to be food for the bacteria. Now on the right you can see it's the last day. Now I couldn't get a good photo but there's three layers here. On the top there's a, a, a film and in the middle it's it's all liquid and there's a you know some floating stuff and in the bottom it's more bacteria and moldy and stuff like that. And so that's the type of water you want and you want to extract the middle layer. Don't be too worried about it, but I had this uh, plunger extractor here. Uh, it's used to uh, extract nutrients out of bottles, that kind of thing. They sell them at the gardening store, but you can use a turkey baster, you know, whatever works. In this jar here on the right, I have five cups of, because I'm going to use a half of a cup of the rice wash water. And that's all you need is the rice wash water and the milk. And so, if you did a cup of the rice wash water, you'd want 10 cups of milk in a larger container. So that's you know totally up to you. Now here's something I learned. I probably wouldn't use a big jar like this again. I ended up transferring it to a large flat Tupperware container later on. So I would re maybe recommend using a large bowl that would hold more milk or maybe use this amount but use a Tupperware container like the one pictured here. I think that that will just work better as far as uh, having a more even temperature and getting the curds and whey to separate in layers as opposed to a tall column of, of, of milk there. Um, that's what I learned and I'll show you the photo of that a little bit down the line here. So uh, you can see that the first day here on the left, that's after 24 or 48 hours and you can see it start to separate. Now I should have taken the cream out because this is raw milk 
and that made things a little challenging for me later. But you can see here it did fine, and this is about a week later on the right. It started to separate in a way, and then it started to get really cold out. So things slowed down, and I ended up transferring it to a Tupperware container, and I added a heat mat to make things happen faster. And right here you can see there's a lot of way. Now it's about half and half. So in that jar, I don't think that would have happened for another month. But in this container with the heat mat, it really turned pretty quickly. And so what I what I had to do then was strain it so that I could get that liquid out. And that's what we're after. See, this, this rice wash water is cultivating the proper bacteria. And then we inject it into the milk, and the milk is going to have a lot of lactobacillus in it as well. And so now it'll dominate and take over any of the other bacteria that would have been present in that milk. And it's going to allow to, to make a better finished product. And this is the Korean natural farming way. And this is why we do it this way. So there in the background, you can see some alfalfa sprouts. And I'm actually going to ferment those to make a really good uh, nutrient, like high nitrogen fertilizer for my plants. And I'm excited about that. So on the left is the container. Here's what it looks like when I take the lid off. It smells like macaroni and cheese, the powder. Uh, before you make it. It has a definitely a distinct odor. Yours might smell different, but it, it wasn't overbearingly strong. I did this outside just in case, um, you know, it smelled really gross, but it wasn't that bad at all. It smelled like cheese. And so once I dumped it into the strainer, um, this probably wasn't the best strainer to use, but you know, it worked. And a lot of the chunks got through, but most of that stuff you see in the picture was kind of hanging and all stayed connected. And those are the curds. And in the top of the strainer, all that goop stayed. And I ended up discarding it. And um, I, I I just tossed it outside into the garden area and my dog actually got into a couple pieces of it later and loved it. But anyways, down there in the bowl is where the whey should be. Of course, the strainer wasn't fine enough. So there's some milk particles still in there. And what I did is um, I looked at it and I went, well, that doesn't look like a whey. And I looked at some photos online and I know that the lactobacillus serum is basically whey, but it's been cultured beforehand with the rice wash. So um, I wasn't comfortable using that or boxing or, you know, putting that in a container because I figured it might get funky on me. And so I did something I learned when I was making kefir. And I took a coffee filter and I put it in this uh, screen here and I put it over Tupperware. And you can see that uh, in the right here, there's just a tiny bit of whey liquid dripping through. And after a couple of hours, there was a whole bunch and that is what I was looking for. And I was almost there. It did take a long time, but I didn't do anything. I just put this blue lid on top so then the you know dirt would fall into it from the air and I let it drip through. And a couple of times I changed the filter because all the cream that I forgot to separate um, was clogging the filter. And so I scraped it out with a spatula a couple times. Um, I replaced the filter once or twice. You can do, you know, whatever you think is going to work. I was just kind of being, I don't know, impatient, I guess, because uh, this coffee filter only held maybe one third of the amount of milk that I had. So I had to let, you know, do this a few different times. Uh, when I was done, I had a, a, a nice medium sized jar full. And I've since been using it with great success. And it's been really important in my garden for helping keep the, keeping the soil alive in really small containers. And I just harvested some uh, sugar snap peas and some tomatoes uh, from the windowsill. And it is freezing cold out. And I also use this in the indoor garden. And, you know, all the plants love it. So fermented plant extracts. Uh, that's most likely what you're looking at this lactobacillus serum for. And if you want to use it to make your own plant fermentations... Uh, you can use it instead of buying nutrients. And although the best way would be to have a larger amount of soil and have the soil microbes be just totally rocking out and feed on their own, this is a huge way to boost that and to keep everything going, especially when you're growing in containers. So these homemade nutrients, they're way better for your garden than anything at the hydroponic store. Um, and if you like this info, fill out the form on this page and you'll get a free ebook report that's going to walk you through step by step um, through making your own fermented plant nutrients or fermented plant extracts using this very special lactobacillus serum that I just showed you how to make. Um, all of this is no cost and I just would hope that you use this information and you benefit from it and you share it with other people. You can find more information like this at buildasoil.com and of course uh, from the information contained on this page. Thanks. Have a great day.